It was surreal, and um, it was quite an honor to be here. So, um, and the response was fantastic. Uh, so yeah, it kind of went perfect. It was, it was a dream night. That's what made it fun, is, is the ability to kind of um, take something that really has no particular backstory and um, just, it was very liberating. There were no rules and we just kind of did what we wanted and certain things we kind of backwards engineered into, you know, why he is certain ways and other things we just made up out of the blue. And you're right, you know, not only is the story have an unreliable narrator, but it's Joker, so you know, it's almost an unreliable, unreliable narrator. We meet a guy who is, um, you know, someone who has been told his whole life that his purpose is to bring laughter and joy to the world, and he believes it, um, and he um, sees himself as this um, put-upon sweet soul in a city full of harsh people. To me, Joaquin is just one of the greats, and he takes something on the page. It's hard to explain to people, you know, what an actor brings to a role. You know, you, you might see it and think everything in there was written down for him to do, and it's just not that way ever. And Joaquin is, is one of those guys who just takes it and makes it his own in a very specific way that you would have never guessed. This is my first time with Joaquin. Um, and it was intimidating at first because I hold him in a special place, uh, but I quickly got over that and we, we got along really well. And I think um, it was a very intense collaboration. Robert De Niro uh, plays a, a guy who's been on, on the same talk show probably for 30 or 35 years. His name's Murray Franklin. Um, he's a, a kind of typical American talk show host. Um, a little bit vapid and a little bit shallow and just sort of there every night to make an audience laugh. And Arthur, who's somebody who has uh, severe father issues, um, meaning he's always looking oh, for, for a father figure, really sees Murray as that. Zazie um, and Francis Conroy, Francis Conroy, who's just uh, plays his mom um, uh, and I think is just so beautiful and simple in, in what we needed her to do. Uh, and Zazie, who, who plays somebody that Arthur knows and has a relationship with, so to speak. Well, one of the fun things about doing these kind of movies is, again, the interpretation, like taking something that people know and, and putting your own spin on it. So for us, Gotham wanted to feel as real as possible and um, uh, the movie in general, we kind of ran everything through a very realistic lens. So it's a, it's a broken down city of, 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 it's a city of broken dreams, let's say that. And uh, it's on its last legs, you know, and um, we wanted that to kind of, the film to, to feel like that. Movies are a giant collaboration. It's obviously not just the actors, but the cinematographers, uh, which, which is a guy I've worked with for six or seven movies now, Lawrence Scher. Mark Friedberg is the production designer. He grew up in New York in the, in the 70s and 80s, and that was where we were kind of paying homage to. So he had old photos, and you know we would go through things and talking about the look. So yeah, we had an amazing team on this film. I think directors have a lot of tools with which they paint a picture, and, and music has always been a, a, a huge one for me. Hildur Gudenitor, um, this Icelandic composer, she lives in Berlin now, but she's from Iceland. Uh, I had contacted her early on in putting the movie together and asked her to start writing music just based off the script. And uh, she just started sending me music based off of scenes she read. The score is a huge part of the movie, as you know, and I thought she did a really, beautiful and unique job. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. In the 2019 film, the Joker's makeup is very similar to John Wayne Gacy's, a serial killer who would entertain children while dressed as a clown. This style was not used by clowns at the time as sharp ends in their makeup usually tend to scare children. Remember to click below to subscribe and if you like my t-shirt and you're a movie lover, you can get in the description box below.